Hi, my name is Sandy and I am making a video to show you how to personalize your iPad lock screen and desktop background. Now I realize that a lot of you probably already know how to do this. This is for the one or two of you out there that may not know how to do this. What you're looking at right now is the cover sheet of a PDF tutorial that I made showing how to do this and I just thought that this would aid me in making this video and I could just explain page for page uh, the different steps in setting up your lock screen and your desktop background with custom images. The tutorial is available along with the backgrounds that I've made for May for my iPad and that download is on my blog and it's a free download and the link to my blog is in the description below this video and like I said we're just going to be flipping through the PDF file um, tutorial because you can't really film your iPad screen. It, I, I've tried and I've done a few, but this is just so much nicer. And what I do is I just take screenshots and then turn them into PDFs and, and then I can scroll through it. And then I can also make the PDF available for quick reference to anyone that could use it. Okay, like I said, um, I do screenshots and then explain what the screen what's going on in the screenshot and what's going on here is this is if I hit my home button on my iPad this is the view just before you unlock your screen to where you can view the time and the day well I've made backgrounds that also have a calendar that you can quickly look through if you need to know a date for a certain day of the month or whatever you might be looking for so at a glance you don't have to load your desktop on your iPad you can get that information just from this screen and then be done or go on to your desktop this is another background that I've created for May and this background doesn't have the calendar in it it just has these little shelves here virtual shelves that my icons rest on and I've overflowed my apps even though I keep them in in groups I have overflowed into a second desktop on my iPad ran out of room on the first one okay so let's start the different steps that we need to set up our backgrounds first thing you want to make sure is that the images are on your iPad inside one of your photo albums in the app photos so you're going to open up this app and scroll through your albums till you get to the photo that contains the image that you, or till you get to the album that has the photos in it that you want to use for your background once you open the album you can click on the image that you want to use and with that image open you're going to click this icon right here that's a little square with an arrow in it and that will reveal a pull down menu and the option you want to click is use as wallpaper after you do that you have three choices you can set the image the selected image as your lock screen your home screen or both and that is really all there is to it it takes less than 30 seconds to do this couple clicks and you're all set something else I want to point out in that download are what you saw on my desktop the the background with the virtual shelves and I've put in the download uh, one that's landscaped and one is is portrait and the reason that I've done this is because you will need to load the background 
of the orientation that you use your iPad in the most. I use mine in portrait most, so that's the one that I set up. But as you can see, when I rotate my screen, the icons are no longer resting on the shelf. And there's not four shelves, there's three shelves. And unfortunately, there's no way around that because this is not an app, this is an image. And when you turn that image, it stretches out and this is how it looks. And if I had loaded the, the landscape image, then this wouldn't do that, but then it would look weird during in the portrait, portrait mode. And this is the, the orientation that I view my iPad on 90% of the time because I have note-taking apps that I've made forms for and templates and stationery and I've got day planner pages and I am constantly writing with a stylus on my iPad screen and I very rarely use the keyboard and I rarely have it in landscape mode. Well, I hope that this helped one or two people. And like I said, if you if you like my background, I know it's pink, and I'm sure that there's some people out there that aren't pink people. Um, of course, the months to come, there'll be other colors and other graphics that I'll have available. This package will be available just through the month of May. And when May is over, naturally, there'll be another download for June. And I hope that you will bookmark my blog or subscribe to my blog. That way you can come back each month and see what new content I have put on there for download. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Until next time, bye.